One more last question I have for you. Uh, it's an mm. interesting one. A few summers ago, remember when it will be departed and that came mm. out of left field towards the end of the window? No one expected it. Deadline day, I think, wasn't it? Dead, deadline day, and nobody expected mm. it. And I could see something similar happening in this window towards the end of it. Someone departing the club after we've made our signings, done our business, mm. someone going, which is a bit left field, someone which we don't expect. If you had to pick one player that it could potentially be, who do you think it would be? Because I look at Eddie and Ketia, for example, and I look at Flo Balogun. I think Arteta will give Balogun a chance in pre-season mm. to basically allow him to showcase his ability. And I look at that link with the Cronkies. I know it may not seem much of a link, but the fact that he's the number one poster boy for the US national team, surely mm. in the back of Josh Cronkies' head, Stan Cronkies' head, they may think to themselves, he's the number one striker for the US ahead yeah. of the World Cup. Yeah. Would it be wise to allow him to depart? So that's why I'm looking at Eddie and Ketia because with Kai Havertz coming in as well, I know they may not play in the same position. Kai Havertz potentially will play in the left side, the midfield position. But Eddie and Ketia might think to himself, maybe it could be the opportunity and time for me to leave this football club. Mm. I... I think that I think the Emil Smith Rowe rumors have been put to bed now. I think yeah. he's staying. I think the one player, which is difficult because he's injured at the moment, is Takira Tomiyasu. Interesting. Um, because Kivior's come in, and Kivior's played at left back. Timber's coming in, who obviously can play and cover at right back as well. But I think the fact that he's injured is probably probably stopping him from going. Hmm. But yeah, it, and obviously that's a surprise. I, I've not heard anything to suggest that he might be wanting out, but it's just based upon the players that are coming in yeah. and seeing Kivior play at left back a couple of games in a row. Um, Fabio Vieira, maybe if we got like a good bid, you know, maybe they would be open to that because obviously with Havertz coming in, it's harder for Fabio to, to get more minutes. Um, Ketia, what, 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 yeah, what, I was about to say he was the last one, and Ketia, yeah. I think maybe. Uh, yeah, but again, like you'd have to keep hold of Balogun, I think. You know, that I don't think they'd let Ketia go if they're not going to bring someone in or Balogun stays. So, and that's I like what the I look would of do. Balogun, though, man. I like the look of Balogun, like, yeah. So do I. Like, yeah. I, if it was up to me, I would say to West Ham, you know, because there's apparently interest from in them, hmm. we'll do you a cut price deal on Ketia. Hmm to get some money off the rice deal let's say we'll let him go for, for 20 million rather than 25 or 30 which is, i think probably what they would ask for and keep balogun you know and then have a dynamic of because people have not even mentioned trossard you know you can also yeah. cover it center forward jesus trossard havertz and balogun is your center central forward options that's a great roster of players to play that position so yeah i'd yeah, that's what I would do. But obviously, you need the suitors. You need to agree. For, and Ketty needs to agree to leave, which after a year of a new contract isn't ever really that likely. So let's let's wait and see what happens.